Guys, ang daming tao dito. Puno ang stadium. Ito lang po yung stadium na Orca Show. Killer Whales, guys. Ang daming tao, guys. Nalate kami pumasok dito na note pa kasi kami ng penguin. Kaya yung upuan namin na dito medyo nandito kami sa mataas.
Takari Kamea, and joining us right now, Hayuka and Tuar. Kamea is the youngest whale that we care for at just eight years old, and her mother, Takara, is the oldest. She's 30 years old. Takara is also the matriarch of our whale pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us, and they take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors that allow us to take care of them. Joining us now, we have Joel and Ceci to help demonstrate some of these behaviors. Thanks, Gary. Hi, everybody. I'm over here on this side of the pool, interacting with 22-year-old male Tuvar. And one of the first behaviors we teach the whales is called a fluke present or a tail present. And two are going to demonstrate that right now for us. In this position, not only can I get a great look at the entire underside of his belly, but more importantly, we have access to the easy to see shallow veins located right here on the white undersides of his tail. At least once a month, or as part of their monthly physicals, our veterinary team can come and take a cooperative blood sample from these veins, and the whales are conditioned to remain calm throughout the entire process. Throughout today's presentation, you might see us giving the whales back rubs, belly rubs, or even a nice tail massage like this. The killer whales have very sensitive skin, so it's a great way for us to build our relationships with them. That's right, Joel.
our attention to the other side of the stadium with Ceci and Kayukin. Did you know that killer whales communicate with each other in a variety of ways, and producing vocalizations is one of them. The first thing we're going to ask Kayukin to do is make one of these sounds. So take your two pointer fingers and point at Kayukin, and swing them back and forth like you're conducting an orchestra. Now you just heard her actually coming out of his blowhole on top of his head. As I mentioned, this is just one of the ways killer whales communicate with each other. It's also believed that they'll communicate by leaping out of the water, producing a huge crashing sound on the surface. Sound waves travel four and a half times faster through water than through the air, so this sound can be heard for miles. Next, take your two fists. And we're going to hit those two fists together when Ceci's ready. Ready? One, two, three, go for it. Awesome job, everyone. Now, Kayukin is going to do a very similar behavior that you are just in. But this one should make a much louder sound because he's doing a behavior that we refer to as a breach. Everyone, turn your attention towards the center. This is Kayukin.
Jane, have a 